The most distant human-made object in the galaxy is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, now far beyond the stars we see in our sky. It entered interstellar space, a region filled with plasma and cosmic radiation. Imagine a spacecraft launched 45 years ago from a dusty pad on Earth, now exploring a silent sea of stars. Voyager 1 wasn't built for this endless journey, yet it keeps going strong. Its mission was planned to last four years, but it has lived more than a space generation. Out past Neptune, through the blackness of the void, Voyager 1 drifts with purpose. This brave probe, built with 1970s technology, continues to whisper back to Earth with a transmitter weaker than a household light bulb. Its radio signal travels through vacuum, reaching our planet after 18 hours. Inside its body, Voyager 1 carries a tape recorder, with memory smaller than a calculator. Yet its software still talks, still sends, still explores. What's more, it has made a recent discovery. Something new, something unexpected from the far edge of our solar system, has stunned scientists worldwide. In 1977, a team of engineers launched two sibling spacecraft. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 began their trip through the cosmic wilderness just 15 days apart. A man named Gary Flandro at JPL used a pencil and brain to map the perfect path. This celestial window appeared only once every 176 years. The four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, aligned like beads on a string. Each planet's gravity could slingshot Voyager forward like a stone through space. This clever move meant the journey to Neptune could be cut from 30 years to just 12, using nothing but planetary gravity. A true dance of orbit and speed. NASA acted quickly. Both spacecraft launched in the summer from Cape Canaveral, riding fire into the sky. They began their record-breaking mission to eternity. As years passed, Voyager 1 gave us the first close-up images of Jupiter's moons, wild volcanic landscapes and icy terrains beyond our dreams. Saturn's rings looked like spinning artwork. Voyager flew past them in silent wonder, capturing photos of places never seen by human eyes. Voyager 2, in contrast, became the first spacecraft to fly past Uranus and Neptune. Its camera revealed strange oceans, blue hues, and swirling weather never expected. Both spacecraft crossed the asteroid belt, a danger zone of floating rocks. It was a feat that once seemed too risky, yet they glided through untouched. They carried data collectors, storage tapes, and a 12-foot satellite dish. Their signal beams raced through the darkness at light speed to reach home. Each day, the signal gets weaker, fading beneath the clutter of Earth's own noise, phones, towers, and radios buzzing across the globe. Still, Voyager speaks. Still, its old heart beats. From 14 billion kilometers away, it sends discoveries and clues about the unknown. Beyond the edge lies the Oort cloud, a frozen swarm of comet-like bodies. Voyager moves slowly toward it, step by lonely step across endless black. To enter interstellar space, the probe crossed the heliopause, the border where the sun's wind fades into space's cold waves. Originally estimated at 50 astronomical units from Earth, that boundary was invisible. No sudden flash, no change in direction, just a shift in the type of particles around it. The scientists expected an increase in cosmic rays, high-speed particles from distant stars. Yet the transition was smooth, subtle, quiet. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the line. Plasma readings rose, but the magnetic field stayed strangely constant. This puzzled the world. They had thought the field would change direction beyond the sun's reach, bending to foreign stars' influences. But Voyager showed something different. This meant our models of the universe needed fixing. Voyager didn't just confirm theories, it challenged them with real space data. The mission was not just about planets. It was about reaching the edge and discovering what lies beyond the familiar light of our solar system. Each second, Voyager moves deeper into the interstellar medium, a region shaped by dying stars, far-off novas, and magnetic whispers. Its signal is faint but real. It hums through space like a voice lost in wind. Engineers wait at DSN, 
listening to each bite, decoding each message. Voyager became our ambassador, carrying a golden record with greetings from Earth, images, and music. A message in a bottle sent into the cosmos. The golden record holds Beethoven and greetings in many languages, from the voices of Earth to whoever might listen in the distant future. Built by human hands, Voyager 1 is now a ghost ship sailing where no one can see, yet it continues, forever loyal to its long mission. It operates with 23 watts of power, less than a nightlight, yet crosses distances we can barely imagine in the vast cold of space. Its team has aged, retired, passed on. Yet Voyager remains, a living machine in the heart of nothing, telling stories of stars and shadow. This spacecraft taught us that exploration doesn't need perfection. It needs vision, courage, and the will to keep going when everything says stop. Though old, Voyager is not done. It still holds the universe's secrets, waiting to reveal more to those who dare to listen. So, as we glance at the night sky, remember there's something out there, tiny, alone, brave, carrying our name through endless dark. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.